This is a demonstration of spin one-half applied to a continuous electron wave function. Here we have the real part of an electron wave function with 12 wave cycles wrapped into a continuous loop. Now we've added a clear tube around the loop forming a torus with a black helix wrapped around the torus. This represents the complex electron wave function with constant magnitude and linearly increasing phase. Notice the blue reference marker at zero degrees of cosine phase located above the blue positive portion of the real part of the wave function. Taken all together, this represents our continuous electron wave function. So far, this is just an ordinary object without the spin one-half property. That is, if we rotate it through a full turn, it looks the same as when we started. This is just an ordinary object so far. But now we've added two wheels and a base, which will give our electron wave function the spin one-half property. The inner wheel rolls against the base as the torus rotates. The outer wheel turns the surface of the torus, thus shifting the phase of the wave function. The wheels are sized so that one full rotation of the torus gives a half cycle of phase shift of the wave function. Now, when we rotate the wave function through a full turn, we see that the wave function does not look the same as when we started. In particular, the blue reference marker is now above the red negative portion of the real part of the wave function because it picked up a half cycle of phase shift. We have to rotate the wave function through a second full turn to get it back to where we started. That is spin one half applied to a complex electron wave function. Here are the full two rotations again.